Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Jason Sam Kovac here. Today we're talking about the ultimate hunting pan, in my opinion. We have them right here, okay? Uh, so we got a light gray or the light green version. We got the dark green version. I am actually wearing the gray version. You can see here that I'm wearing these things, these particular ones I have on right now. You can see a little bit here, some of the snagging from some of the burrs and stuff like that. But these are three years old. Um, and I mean, you, like I said, you remember I'm wearing knee-high boots usually, but they're three years old. They have been through the ringer. They are fantastic, okay? Um, and for me, what I love about them is how quick they dry and how light they are. And that's the key thing for me down here in the south. Being down here, um, I, I need something cool temperature-wise, okay? So, and these work fantastic for that there. You don't get hot in them. But then also, remember, I mean, if we spin this real quick just for the sake of it and we spin and show you. Oh, hang on. Let's just unlock the uh, pan on here. When I'm out here in this stuff, which I'm out in all the time busting through, in the mornings, this stuff is soaking wet with dew. Remember the humidity? We're down here in Georgia. Everything is 100% soaked just, just like it just got done raining. And it doesn't matter where you go. Everything is soaked. For the first couple hours of daylight and uh you know in the mornings or even be pre before daylight what that means is that my pants are soaked the whole things are all my legs are completely soaked not just to my knees because on this side it would be to my knees over here it's everything is, is completely soaking wet they dry like that they're super fast to dry they are stretchy they are comfortable i can put two pairs of thermals under the same ones that i wear every day and they stretch enough to let that happen and be comfortable um they are not uh uh yellow jacket or bee sting resistant they'll still sting you right through them i'll tell you that i know from experience um but they're ultra tough they hold up very well like i said these ones i'm wearing we have been going on years and remember i hunt multiple times a week every single week now okay it's not just a seasonal thing for me and i'm in these pants all the time um so and same with these ones here so look at these these ones here are over two years old Okay, two years old. Look at the condition of them after two years. Now you can see again, you can see where some uh, uh, thorns have got me and did, you know, did some, did some chewing on there a little bit, but you wouldn't believe the amount of crap I go through and how well these hold up. So they are a fantastic pant. Uh, you can see here again too, where sometimes it just gets to be a little bit for them, but they hold up very, very well. Now the advantages to these is the pocket layout. My only gripe is I wish we had a, a button back here on one of the pockets for your wallet. So my wallet's in there, but the nice thing is even with my full size wallet with the rubber bands on it, I've never lost it, but I can also, it'll fit in here like that, but I can also put it in sideways and have it down lower. So I like that setup of these pants. Um, the pockets on there, but out here where I'm hunting at, I have to carry my wallet with me. I have to have my ID with me on site. Um, could put it in my pack, but then I forget it, so it stays in my pocket. You are also, but those pockets work. They, they work fantastic, and the pockets are mesh. Okay, so you, again, the airflow in these is phenomenal. The, you know, they're, they're thin and comfortable, and they're, they got a little bit of stretch to them. Not a ton, but enough. Um, they're, they're not an expensive pant. They're cheap pants. They're like 23 bucks. Okay, but they are excellent. Pocket-wise, they got the pockets on the side right here. Your cargo pocket is on. You got a main pants pocket. Okay, here, this one right here, which is where all that stuff goes. You got this little pocket here, which is where I usually put uh, things like Tums. Okay, if I want if I want to bring Tums out there with me, I just take Tums like that, and I put a couple of them in that pocket. That way, if I because when I drink pop or I eat pizza or spaghetti, I get heartburn like crazy, and uh, I like drinking Coke Zero. So when I have it, um, I keep a Tum or two, one of those Tums in that pocket. But you got this little pocket here, the main pocket here, which is huge. Look how deep that is. I'm assuming you can see that all the way down, but they're good deep pockets. And um, then on this side, you have deep, deep pockets. And then you have the two cargo pockets. The nice thing about these cargo pockets is they are high up. I am a short guy. So they're not like a lot of them where they're down below my stupid knee where they're down here. They're up high enough that they don't interfere with my articulation and my cell phone fits in this pocket. And it's quick to zip in there and lock my cell phone in that pocket. So it's right there next to me and it's real easy in and out of that pocket there. And then in this side for all my incidental junk like flashlights and stuff like that I can put right in there and there's a couple spare batteries that I carry in this pocket here fit right in there and they're always with me out of the way so love 
love these pants. Absolutely love them. And I also, you know, I got my stuff on a dangler. My compass rides right here on a dangler, right here. So I can look at it right there, sweet, simple, and easy. My Bradford Guardian on a dangler. My key fob on a skinny dangler, so I do not ever lose it. No worries of it at all. So that stuff works really good in these pants. The belt loops are big, so you can fit any size belt you want to through it. Here is a brand new pair, and this is going to show you the tags and everything, so you know exactly what you're looking for. Another feature is I like how thin they are for wearing snake boots. So when I put these boots on, either one of these pairs of boots, when I put these on, the, my my pants have to fit inside a, these boots. These are really nice because they are very thin without a huge cuff on them, so that when I stick them in there and roll them, uh, they're actually very comfortable to put on, so they don't bother me inside of my boots. So really like that. Very happy with them. In my opinion, uh, for the money, or even if these were $100 a pair, they'd still be one of the best hunting pants you could ever get. But fortunately, they're like $20, $21 at uh, uh, Walmart, or you can buy them online. Like I got these from walmart.com online. I think they were $23 bucks there, but here's what they are. Okay, we're going to show you the tag. And then I'll show you which model number they are so you can pick the right one because they got a bunch of varieties. Okay, so there's the information on them. And uh, now here is the, uh, here's what we got on there. Right here, this is the model number. So you can see what the model number is on these. Um, so these are fantastic. Now these are 36s. That I just bought now these ones here are mainly for my deer hunting stuff because again uh, when it's cold weather I will wear extra or two pairs of thermals underneath these uh, for my Midwest hunts you know I wear these even on my Midwest trips um, where these are gonna be a 34 okay so these here are the uh, 34s and that number is uh, basically so yeah, basically same number though. So when you look up this number, when you look those up online, if you want to find them, that's what you're basically looking for right there. But they are made by Wrangler. Um, they are, they, they're, they're not, I don't know what the XPGs are. They don't give you a lot of information on here on the inside what they are. But uh, here's that number again for you if you're looking. But um, you can get them right at Walmart. Um, is where I always buy them from or Walmart online because the ones down here by me down in Georgia I don't know what it is, but I can never find uh, the 34s or the 36 30s. I got short legs So 34 36 30s 34s for most of the year 36 is for one I'm you know for the pairs that I want to use for Midwest hunting I can't find them in the store. So I buy them online from walmart.com, but uh, there you go but like I said one of the best pairs of pants I've ever ever hunted in I've been hunting in them for years down here. This is them on as far as the fit, that kind of stuff, I'll back up and show you here a little bit more so you can see a little bit more. And we'll actually put our boots on and I can show you what I mean when I say they uh, they go perfectly in the boots. Uh, we're going to be wearing these ones today because we're getting into water. So we take these boots here and again, we're going to, I'm going to end up putting on an extra pair of socks on here too. Um, so we're putting these on like this. But when I take this and I give this just a little kind of a twist in, when I put those in there, there's no binding. There's no jamming up, no no muss, no fuss in there. Uh, they just work fantastic in there and don't give me any fits, no hot spots. You know, it's not like they're all big and bunchy. They're, they're thin and they're light and they're easy to just kind of roll over and put in there and they fit in there good. And that is, that's the setup. But like I said, a little bit of stretch to them, which is nice, gives you full articulation. These are the 30, 34s here. Again, what I wear most of the time. 36 is what I'm putting on a bunch of extra layers, but I can fit two thick thermals under these. They are stretchy. If I loosen this belt up here, you can see that there's a lot of stretch to these pants. So they're very, very comfortable as far as all that stuff goes. So like I said, fantastic pant, best one I've ever worn. Will not buy anything else. I will not hunt in anything else. And I have not in years literally years um ever since i started hog hunting down here uh six years ago i bought a pair of these for those and i've been wearing them ever since so absolutely awesome pants thanks for watching